Uh, well, it took a couple years. Uh, I didn't really start to feel it until I was probably here for about two or three years. So, because it's just growing up, like, I, I wasn't a huge college football fan. I didn't follow it that much. And then in Maryland, there's the University of Maryland. That's basically it. Um, so I was never really part of a huge college rivalry, rivalry like this. And so getting here and then seeing it and just seeing how it is a whole season on its own thing. Like this, for so many people in the state of South Carolina, is the biggest game of the year no matter what. We could lose every game, but as long as we win this game, that's all that matters. So just knowing that and being a part of that and just seeing the, <laughs> the hate, the rivalry, all that between the two parties is just something else. Yeah. To that end, how special is it to, to have been a part of turning this robbery around after they had the, the five-game winning streak and now mm -hmm. y'all put together a three-game winning streak? Um, it's special. I mean, I'm just kind of riding it because I, when I came in was when we started winning them. And, I I mean, I haven't really played much in any of the games up until like this year would be my first time really contributing to that. So I just hope to keep going. Are you looking forward to that, being on the road at williams Bryce in, in the rivalry game? And knowing you're going to get the start. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's a fun one. It's it's fun to go into an atmosphere like that where just, you know, everyone there hates you. Everyone hates your guts, and they're just yelling, screaming, throwing stuff at you the whole time. It's just a fun environment. To this point in your career, what's the one road environment that you remember that you're like, wow, they really brought it? Uh, well, two years ago at South Carolina, I remember that. That was, that was the kind of, that's what kind of woke me up to the rivalry because I'd never really seen it before. Um, but that was a big one, and Virginia Tech this year was also a really big one. What yeah. did you do two years ago that, that kind of caught your attention? <laughs> um, a lot of stuff, just a lot of yelling, uh, just kind of some behaviors from the fans, throwing things, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Feel safer on the field than being on the sidelines two years ago. Oh yeah, a little out of throwing distance. Yeah. This defensive line looks like mm -hmm. it's a little bit better than they were last year. Defense is playing better. Um, they're definitely guys that want to work. Uh, they're tough guys. They're athletic. They're strong. Uh, they they want to get after it. And especially this game, we know they're going to bring the best they got. Is it one of those deals where you kind of have to know where Sky Moore is at all times because he's so dynamic in everything he does? Uh, yeah, definitely. I mean, you always want to keep track of a lot of stuff. But, yeah, definitely got to keep an eye on. What, what did you see from uh, Gage on Saturday? He got some substantial playing time at, at center. How long? Far as he come along since August. Oh, he's he's come so far. Um, just knowledge wise, like he, he really has a good understanding of stuff now. Um, his snaps are good. Uh, he's just he he physically dominates people. He's just a big, strong, fast guy. And just be able to see him go out there and play like he did was really great.